The diplomatic status of Jerusalem is one of the world's most contested issues. Israel calls the city its undivided capital and operates its government from there, while Palestinians claim East Jerusalem, which Israel occupied after the 1967 war, as the rightful capital of their future state. Despite the unresolved status of the city, which is important to Muslims, Christians and Jews, U.S. President Donald Trump is reportedly considering recognizing Jerusalem as the capital of Israel in the coming days, a major potential shift in policy sharply criticized by Palestinian leaders. This is a very big issue. Touching Jerusalem, touching the Al-Aqsa Mosque, touching the Church of the Holy Sepulchre is playing with fire. There's no meaning for a Palestinian state without East Jerusalem as its capital. Recognizing Jerusalem as the capital of Israel could also see the U.S. Embassy move there from Tel Aviv. While campaigning, then-candidate Trump promised to move the diplomatic mission as one of his first acts as president. But in June, the White House issued a waiver to meet a deadline to either comply with the 1995 law mandating the move of the U.S. Embassy to Jerusalem or explain why doing so is not in U.S. national security interests. Signing the waiver, which Presidents Clinton, Bush and Obama signed every six months as a matter of course, angered President Trump's evangelical Christian supporters and pro-Israel donors who are reportedly pressuring him to declare next week's waiver to be his last, while others are said to have also warned moving the embassy could not only strain ties with Arab allies, but could lead to violence. That's the big question. Will he go all the way or will he leave that legal loophole open, I think? Because he would, he would go that way, that would in a way placate his, um, you know, uh, very pro-Israeli pro faction, including his vice president, Pence, who's very uh, religiously, you know, uh, uh, motivated by this, um, and also still leave open some door of negotiation, etc., with the Palestinians and others. While it's still unclear what President Trump will announce next week, any decisions could complicate efforts by his administration to revive negotiations between Palestinian and Israeli leaders. Jared Kushner, Trump's son-in-law and senior advisor, has made several trips to the region as part of efforts to start the talks. Talks which look more distant than ever. In Piaz Al Jazeera.